Hello guys, in the previous video we did it uh, selected configure product option state to our hook and now we finally can implement switch uh, product option media price and also add configurable product to the cart so let's start with our Altair plugin and let's go to configure our product documentation and what we're looking here is product uh, variants yeah this one let's edit variants and we would like to have attributes which which have code and value index so this is exactly what our state is it's code and index so we can find selected variant and another scene is sorry simple product so each variant is is actually simple product and what we like to have from it We need SQ also media gallery and also I would like to have a price. Uh, price yeah price range as we used before let's use fragment maybe let's check our code so price minimum price final price currency in butter and i would like also on product interface here and product price and now you see each item uh, configurable options and there is variants with attribute code and its value 
and it contain its own price and some media gallery details okay let's add this to our query so on configurable product let's use this lint fix so and there is a good place to use fragment for price range because it basically uh, same piece of code we need to use in two places same as media gallery so let's copy media gallery fragment and name it product price fragment let's name it product price product price on product interface let's copy this code from here so now we can import our fragment just do the same if as we did with media gallery fragment in the name yeah okay looks good now let's create types for new data so now we have not only configurable options but also variants and variants will be configurable product variant uh, it is array where we have attributes and string code string and value is number yeah oh yeah skew should be string So let's create variant attribute this array. And also we need variant product Pro 
product we have is Q uh, media gallery okay yeah we can copy it from the product interface was it basically the same and I think that's it with types for now and we can go to the product details hook and what we want to do here is find selected product variant we have a key value object key is our attribute code and value is value index so we should go through the uh, each variant its attributes and see if our selected code value pairs is equal to this particular variant so let's add use effect which depends on product data and selected configure product options and if product data and and selected options lens bigger than zero so we selected something uh, we would like to find a selected product variant so we can pass here selected values and product data let's create this function So what we want to do, we want to get product variance Okay, it complains because only configurable product type contain variants so let's check its type if it's not equal configurable product return now and now we want to go over all selected options keys
which is attribute code and we would like to filter our variance So we're looking for attribute over variant attributes where attribute code will equal to code. and we will return true for variance where attribute value index equal to selected one and basically now we filtered everything and if variance not known we can return first found product So let's mark return type as variant or no. And let's create state for it. Selected variant. And set selected variant and it will be null by default. So we can set selected variant and now once we have this variant it contains media and price data so we can display it on our product details screen. Uh, let's create couple more states one will be price and set price price range and another will be media gallery and set media gallery
let's return the price and media gallery here We also why it's complaining. Okay, it should be imported as type like this, and uh, in result, we also should add. Um, price range uh, media gallery item type array and now instead on the product details screen instead of Product data media gallery. We can use media gallery and price. We can use media gallery and here price. Probably need just restart flow. Yeah, now it's complain because it's actually a bit wrong. We need like this. Now there is gone. Okay, we switch, but we actually haven't done anything with our selected variant so let's add another hook on selected variant and maybe product data as well and if product data and if selected variant selected variant we want send price as wire and product price range and set media gallery as merge of selected wire and product media gallery and product data media gallery And if we don't have selected variant, we simply want uh, product data price range. And product data media gallery. It looks fine. Let's run our 
project on the simulator and take a look what we have. So let's take a look. Now if we select color, you see the color is changing and instead of three images we have four now for when we select some variance. Okay and final scene we want to do today is to add this product to the card because now we have error. Maybe let's take a look what we should do. Let's back to our mutations and take a look at product to cart mutation and car item. Basically for configurable product we want to pass selected variant SKU and parent SKU is our configurable product SKU. Let's implement this. First of all, I want to move this add to cart functionality to our hook as well. I also want return those values. It will be function we will implement it with no arguments because all data inside the hook so we also need to add types in the result will be boolean and the function okay let's create the function add Product to cart. Okay, now types is correct. And now we want to split our logic depending on type, so product data type name equal simple product and else if it's configurable product And we also want to modify add to cart function. I want to create a cart payload type.
which will contain Iskia, also parent Iskia, which will be optional since it only for configurable product. Also we need quantity and will be required. So let's have card payload type and name is add to card arguments. and also we need to change our function here we would like to have payload okay we need to make its type exact Okay, looks good now we need to pass different payloads depending or on our types so here we will have this queue which will be product this queue uh, Also, we need quantity. And another argument will be name, which is product data. I believe it should be name. Not sure why it's complain. Okay, it's complain because of operator. And for the configurable product, we also want selected variant, not null. So for parent SQ it will be product SQ and for SQ it will be selected variant product SQ I know flow is completely broken it's complain each time and required to restart but basically it looks good let's have a look so let's select some options and try to add to cart and you see it's good and if we didn't select anything we can add this is probably something for future improvements and also let's test 
our simple product and simple product also works good okay that's it we'll see you in the new videos